Welcome back to That Dad Guy. It's February 26, 2023, and I want to start off by saying thank you to those of you who are subscribed. And if you're just finding me the first time, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, like, leave me a comment. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And uh, yeah, we're doing a whole bunch of different things. Today, we're talking post crossing. I've got five official cards that I can send out. I've got a couple direct swaps I'm going to show you too that are going out. And then uh, we'll talk about some upcoming videos that uh, will be out this week. Okay, let's get started here. The very first card I have is going to Germany. And uh, this one's really cool because it starts off, uh, she updated her profile in January and said that her father is turning 70 in March. So really what she wants is, um, it's not, you can send whatever card you want. It doesn't have to be a birthday card, but uh, she would like the messages all to be to her father. That's very nice. And then she's going to present them as a birthday present. So it reminds me of when I did the uh, Ukrainian stamps for my father. Um, which is still ongoing. If you want to send Ukrainian stamps, you can still do that. Um, we're still building a collection there for him. Um, but let's get back to this. Uh, so her father, Rainer, will be celebrating his 70th birthday in March. And so she wants cards that are in uh, your native language saying a uh, happy birthday. And um, yeah, she went, goes on in a regular body to talk about um, what sort of cards she likes. But she's set this side apart. So that's what I'm going to do. I've sent or will be sending this card, the I Love Canada card, and I'll have a birthday message to Rainer on the back of it and uh, wishing him well on his 70th. So I think that's a great idea and a great way to keep uh, your profile fresh if, uh, you know, things change. Sometimes you want certain cards, sometimes you've had a lot of those cards and you take it off the list, uh, and uh, sometimes there's uh, special things happening in your life and you want to do things for. Um, so yeah, that's a good idea. Keep your Keep your profile up to date. All right, my next card is going to Portland, Oregon. And uh, she says she uh, lives with her family and her two cats and one goldfish. So there's lots of gray and rainy days in Portland. Um, so she wants to have a card that uh, brightens the day. She can speak a couple of different languages and uh, can read Japanese as well. She loves traveling near and far and uh, reading, crafts, running, and walking. So I've chosen this card. You may have seen it in the past. This is Fundy National Park. Uh, one of the places that I love to go hiking, not too far away. What an hour's drive away from me. And uh, so if she likes hiking and she likes uh, traveling around, this might be the place for her uh, to get to the other coast. It's not rainy here today. It is cold. It's not snowy, but it's minus 19 this morning. <laughs> so it's been a very cold weekend. We're in a cold snap. I think next week we may even be getting a few flurries again, but the temperatures will be climbing. So I look forward to that. All right, my next postcard is going off to Estonia, and she says she's interested in everything concerning folk, fairy, uh, literary, and mythological characters from your country. She likes Christmas cards and traditional crafts and arts um, from our country, smiling and friendship, tourist postcards of your country, big sailing ships, knights and horsemen, or old holiday cards, and she also loves stamps. So, I've chosen this. It's not a nice, uh, a knight but it is a horseman. It may be a, a Canadian knight. So this is the Royal Canadian Mounted Police uh, in his uh, traditional um, outfit. You don't see them that way. Most of the time, mostly they're in a police car in their uh, dark uniforms. But when it's a, a parade day or a, a special occasion, they put on their red uniforms for that. So that is a Canadian knight, I guess. All right. The next card I have is going to... Germany and she says she's 37 years old she likes smileys different emojis uh, she really likes postcards uh, this postcard project she spends lots of time choosing the right card decorating with her heart it's so much fun she works in a small shop that sells clothes and she loves it she's a funny crazy person and wants to get to know new things so please rate more on the postcard than just greetings from which is always nice if you're doing it don't just say a happy post cross and your greetings from you really want to do a little bit more than that uh, she's been able to visit countries like Austria, Belgium, Canada, Denmark, France, Germany, Ireland, Italy, uh, Netherlands, Norway, Luxembourg, Portugal, Spain, Sweden, Tunisia, uh, the UK, and the USA. She loves to go to concerts, and then she gives a list of different things that she enjoys. Uh, but one of them is fun facts. So I'm going to send this fun fact about Magnetic Hill. This is the card that I would have sent to answer my own That Dad Guy Answers uh, question that I did for February that uh, will get 
to see the results of for your fun facts from your area, tourist spots to go to. The question is, what is the one tourist destination that uh, people should see in your area if they come there and why? So this is the, the facts about the Magnetic Hill. So that one is going off. The last official one that I have is going to the Czech Republic. And uh, she's retired, she cannot travel, but likes the new technique which keeps her in contact with the world all around. Her biggest interest is reading. She loves history, nature, angels, owls. She says, send me a postcard of your town, region, Christmas card in December, or things of interest that can help. And then, so I've said this, she likes nature, she likes traveling. So this is Hopewell Rocks. We talk about a lot on this channel. Um, it is a great destination to go, especially if it's low tide, you can walk along the beachfront below what we call the flower pots. At high tide, the uh, the water level is so high you can't get down there, but it is interesting to see them at the two different times. So that is going off to the Czech Republic. All right, so those are my official ones. Now let me show you a few of the swap ones that I'm going to send out. The first is this very cute one here. This is street art. I showed you this recently. I got a pack of street art. Uh, from Wendy and uh, I just think this one's so cute as a little bear holding the balloon so that one's heading off this one is the Hillsborough Salem Railway Museum about 20 mi minutes south of here you can see all the trains you used to be able to ride a, uh, a steam train or a coal power train um, around the area and they don't do that anymore unfortunately but it used to be a really cool adventure to do and there's a nice big trestle bridge there the next one is Black's Harbor. They have a nice ferry, a nice spot to go over there. You've got a nice waterfront, lighthouse. So a nice part of New Brunswick. This one's Prince Edward Island. You can see all the fishing boats waiting to go out or maybe you've come in for the day. But a uh, nice boat picture for someone that might enjoy something a little different than what they have. This one's a vintage card. This is the uh, John Cabot Monument in Cape Breton. Uh, so, on June 24th, 1497, John Cabot landed on this spot, uh, 1330 foot elevation, now called Sugarloaf Mountain, unfurled the royal banner and took possession of the country in the name of King Henry VII. So there we go, there's a discovery card, a little historical thing, and uh, famous in our area. Here we have Prince Edward Island. Uh, here's a shot of Anna Green Gables House, made famous by Lucy Maud Montgomery. And uh, you don't really see it usually in winter time, so it's kind of nice to see a winter picture. There's the Confederation Bridge and one of the lighthouses, and you can see all the snow and ice around. And then finally, I have a, a tourist card of London, England, of all sorts of different sightseeing places you may want to go to if you get a chance to visit there. So uh, we're going to send that. So a lot of my cards are Canadian that are heading out this week. But uh, every once in a while you mix in a different card because you know people have different interests. And they're not always uh, have to be about your country, your area. Um, so that's good. My official one's going out to, uh, yeah, they're all Canadian this time around. But it's not always the case. All right. So I've got a little bit of uh, filling out to do here now and stamps to put on. So that'll be the rest of uh, today, or a part of today. We'll take the whole day post-crossing, but uh, part of the day will be for the hobby. Uh, tomorrow, I think I've got a video coming out. Well, either tomorrow or Tuesday. We'll see which day. But I have one on um, the uh, use of uh, uh, orange citrus aerosol spray to uh, take the backing off of stamps. So when you're taking the, uh, the paper off them, uh, I've got a video for that coming out. I also have a video on Dank Mart. A gift was sent in by my brother, a mystery box. So I'm gonna open that and see what that's all about. So there'll be a video on that coming out this week as well. Um, yeah, I, I'm not sure, but there's all sorts, all sorts of different things happening all at once. And uh, I'm always surprised by what you guys send and when it kind of leads the way what videos are gonna happen in, in which order. Uh, so sometimes they're stamp videos, sometimes they're Lego videos, sometimes they're uh, postcards. Sometimes it's an adventure video. So stay tuned. You never know what you're going to get here. Make sure you're, uh, you are got the notification bell on so you know when a new video comes out. And uh, hopefully you're subscribed so uh, you can help grow the family. Anyways, have a magical week.
What, Polo? You say like, subscribe, share, and tell all your friends? Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy?